My name is Diane Bomar. I live at 709 Deer Trail Park, Miami Township. I am not a Loveland resident. For months, I have attended Loveland City Council meetings. I have listened as members of the community voice their concerns, their frustration, and their fears about the direction the majority voting block of this council is taking the city of Loveland and the extended community, which is directly impacted by the decisions of these four members. In recent weeks, the efforts on the part of a dedicated, unselfish, community-minded group of citizens has been attacked and rejected as self-serving. This group has worked tirelessly to shine a light on the unsavory and dubious words and deeds of certain members of this council. Their efforts have been met with derisive, unsavory, false, and extremely personal attacks by members of the council. Some who have even chosen to attack from the dais of this very chamber. Lies, innuendo, and schoolyard bullying have become the overriding characteristic of the majority members of this council, specifically by Mark Fitzgerald, Angela Sattel, and Pam Gross. The dignity of this city has been tarnished, perhaps irreparably, by these attacks and the efforts of the shame and shameful. The leadership is a cause for embarrassment and shame to the extended community as well. The efforts to rectify the imbalance of input by the Loveland Community Heartbeat PAC and by individuals both within and without the city proper have now generated not only spoliation letters to five citizens, as well as demands of personal records of yet more citizens and has engendered vicious personal posts on sites and pages which are filled with lies and invective. These posters hide behind fake identities, leaving us to wonder if they are merely mouthpieces of the equally vicious council members, as they have chosen not to step into the light as citizens with valid concerns. Mr. Fitzgerald, you have used your position to discredit, defame, and deceive. Your actions and words have prompted citizens to demand a recall of your elected role in our government. That recall is justified. Ms. Gross, you have used your position to falsely accuse and cast aspersions on longtime members of the community who have integrity and dedication, while simultaneously maintaining a personal stranglehold on positions which allow you to influence across a broad base of entities in this community. You have chosen not to own your words and apologize to those you falsely accused, which is juvenile and unworthy of a city leader. Ms. Sattel, you have sold out your honor to a majority which I do not believe represent your truest and most principled self. And you have forsaken any semblance of credibility in this process. To attack business owners, restaurants, and commercial enterprises crucial to the fiscal health of this city is ludicrous and bewildering. The time has passed for you as council members to attempt to restore a productive relationship with your constituents. You have wandered too far down the path of self-serving interests and backroom deal-making. You need to graciously relinquish your roles and allow those with integrity, morals, objectivity, and honor to serve this city and create the kind of city government Loveland deserves. Please refrain from applause and other outbursts.